Mais gros There, now that minute, here comes Stanley. He's taking his field around. The show to the scores! It's a hockey game now, sir. The annual season finale between Washington Liberty and arch rival Yorktown has grown over the years into arguably the best high school hockey rivalry in the region. Dubbed the Battle of Arlington, the event honors both clubs' senior classes in a pregame celebration that packs plenty of pomp and circumstance. It's typically played in front of a capacity crowd that includes large and spirited student bodies from each school. The 2020 edition was different. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic forced the postponement of the game less than 24 hours before the teams were set to drop the puck. In the ensuing months, it was unsure if it would be played at all. However, on August 1st, 140 days after the originally scheduled date, the two teams took to the ice to continue the rivalry. While attendance for the game was limited to the families of the graduated seniors, the energy and excitement was as palpable as previous clashes. Yorktown started the game fast, bringing early pressure. WL's goalie Eli Constantine stood strong in net, as he would all game, weathering the Patriots' attack. The Generals, missing nine skaters, had to press into action three incoming freshmen, and they would find their footing and settled into the game nicely. Matthew Clark opened the scoring midway through the first period with a power play goal when he scooped up a loose puck to the side of Yorktown's net and roofed it past the Patriots' goalie. Just 16 seconds into the second, Kyle Wilson added to the lead with the second of the game. It was extended to three a few minutes later when incoming freshman Talon Sidhu walked out of the corner with the puck and snapped a shot over the goalie's shoulder. Yorktown responded with a power play goal and the teams entered the final period with the Generals holding a 3-1 advantage. In his final game with the Generals, the captain, Hunter Spicer tallied what would ultimately be the game-winning goal early in the third, extending WL's lead back to three. It was the Generals' third power play goal of the game and was assisted by Ethan Boyajin, his second apple of the day. With three minutes left, the Patriots scored to crawl within two, but a minute later, Kyle Wilson netted his second goal, adding insurance. Yorktown scored once more, but it was only cosmetic. WL marched to a 5-3 victory over their rivals, their third win in the series in the last four years. The victory capped off another great year for the club on the ice and served as a bright moment in the middle of this current pandemic. For seniors Hunter Spicer and Eli Constantine, they were able to finish their careers, racking up that third win against their rivals. While the upcoming months will likely bring more uncertainty to life, school, and hockey, these generals will always have this moment. When on one hot August day, they were able to step back onto the ice, honor their seniors, and beat Yorktown.